r slash ask reddit what's a sign you have zero social skills you tell your psychiatrist you think you might be autistic and he she says yeah i picked up on that not exactly how it went but still kind of funny this happened to me at a strip club once everybody gets invited to go out you don't and maybe you even have the balls to ask if you can come too oh but too bad somebody has an excuse and then you don't go james is one of the most giving generous humans i know he is also on the spectrum i work in video production and james worked for me we were doing some post production and one of the girls from the office was half heatedly lamenting she never got to participate as on camera talent james pauses for a moment and says i think it's probably because you're not that pretty they usually get pretty girls in the videos we make she ran from the room weeping guy at work has basically no social skills he constantly tells the same pointless stories over and over and he has to tell every single person in the room separately not in one go he'll say stuff like oh guess what i had a customer earlier ask me where something was and i told her and she found it and then you pause because you expect something interesting to come after it and he just stops and laughs to himself and we just nervously chuckle along and he keeps telling me about his sex life openly in public Asking reddit for help on the topic of social skills. Posting on reddit is usually a sign as well. Having everyone stop talking to you after your divorce. Now that I know of your divorce, I won't respond to your comment. After skimming these answers I'm just a little embarrassed about a whole lot of stuff over the years. You and me both. Not knowing how to politely converse. Hey, how are you? Fine. How was your weekend? Do anything fun? No. Did you see the insert thing? Yep, it was cool. I understand sometimes a brother just wants to be left alone. But I used to be like this with everyone all the time and didn't understand why no one seemed to like me. Turns out I was a serial conversation killer. If I've said that's wild three or more times and you're still speaking. That's crazy. Blaming others for not liking you. And then saying they don't accept you for who you are. Not picking up body cues that someone is uninterested in engaging in conversation, like keeping headphones in, refusal to make eye contact, body remains facing another direction, short answers that make it pointedly difficult to continue conversation. People with bad social skills might come across as very friendly, and therefore might have no trouble meeting people, but will probably have trouble retaining a larger group of casual friends. If people seem like they're constantly on edge or irritated when they're around you, it's probably because something about your demeanor is off-putting or hard to be around. When you're reading whilst in the middle of a birthday party, especially when it's yours. When you relate to all the replies here. Making plans to go out with a friend. Meeting that friend. Then walking around in silence for the next few hours as you don't know how to start a f***ing conversation. And when they finally ask you a question you manage to end the conversation in 30 seconds. If you're talking over others constantly, you have poor social skills. But also, if you're not leaving breaks in your talking to allow them to add something to the conversation, you have poor social skills. It's a sweet middle ground. I'm almost 40, and there are some nice boys in their early 20s I am related to by family, and I love them dearly. But they haven't figured out that if they're talking to me about some video game I've never heard of for 30 minutes, and I am contributing nothing material to the conversation, I am very bored and uninterested. Come to think of it, I know some 10 year old boys who do the same thing, and it is just as annoying. I once had a lovely conversation with a retail worker that went a little something like this. Retail worker, hello, me, hi, retail worker, that'll be this much. Have a nice day, me, no thanks, I only returned upon the insistence of a friend of mine, the reason that conversation went so terribly is because the worker had asked my friend if he had wanted his receipt, and because I very specifically fear saying something wrong, I was preparing in my head to also decline the receipt, so I'd say a solid bet for when you have zero social skills is when even pre-prepared conversations can go wrong. Here's one I get sometimes. You think you've made a great contribution to the conversation and nobody picks up on it. There's a pause. And then somebody changes the subject. Even if you didn't say something offensive. 
you said something that didn't support the flow of the conversation, and somebody had to reboot it. There is no one who gets to decide how a conversation flows. Social skills have to have an element of self-confidence and being comfortable with your contribution whether everyone cares or not. If you go into a conversation and that happens the people who do that probably have poor social skills in my experience. You long to be accepted and included, but as soon as you're with others, you want to be alone. Whoa this hit home. You've lived in the same town for 10 years, and you have zero friends. What about 26 years? Constantly acting on edge and jittery around others. You didn't hear them three times, so you pretend you hear them. You can't really look people in the eyes. What if you can look in someone's eyes when they're talking to you, but when you're talking, you look everywhere but at them, not just their eyes, asking for a friend, of course. Recently I saw someone ask how to speak to girls here on reddit, that's a big sign. If you can't talk to anyone because of their gender slash age believe your shyness or whatever, not being able to talk to people equals zero social skills. If you offend people without realizing it, you have bad social skills. If you offend people on purpose, you have bad social skills. The no filter excuse. Now, I suffer from this a bit, but I'm always careful to apologize when I go too far. But some folks are just proud of how they don't care about whether or not what they say hurts people. It's like you lack awareness to avoid being a dom. Are aware you lack it and take pride in the fact you are an ass. That's a 3-4 lack of empathy. You're an engineer. Yes I'm an engineer. Ditto for software developers. When you're in a business meeting and at the end of the meeting the guy goes in for a chest bump and you awkwardly and gently hug the guy and place your head on their chest. Not sure if that counts as that one. Definitive. Telltale sign. But seeing as I'm now 31, have exactly one friend I semi-regular talk to or go to see movies with. Spent most of my time either in front of my PC or my PS4. And have so far not even held a woman's hand. Let alone slept with one. Made even worse by the fact that I really always, as far as I can think back, Pictured myself as having a family of my own at some point in my life. Yep, guess that's not gonna happen. I think it's a safe bet to say that I do not just have zero social skills. I might have negative social skills. Saying it how it is. Now you're just being rude. Being nice is more important than being honest for social cohesion. It doesn't matter what people think of each other. What matters is getting along. Otherwise we just argue about who the bigger donghead is. And nothing ever gets done. Tactfulness isn't something to be ashamed of having. It doesn't make you macho or cool to just insult people constantly. It makes you die alone. Asking redditors questions instead of your friends. Ouch. You're not aware of it. You act like a dumb duck in social situations. And everyone laughs whenever you're talking. You don't have basic social etiquette. I had a dream where a girl said hi to me and I didn't know what to do so I said okay and walked away. Active avoidance of social situations. Only giving one word answers. If you're talking to someone and they're only giving one word answers, that could mean that they're uninterested in the conversation and want to end it. Go to the gym and scan my card. Have a good workout. Semicolon attendant. You too. Duck. Me. Or the classic at a drive through Enjoy. You too. Talking straight away about sex or seeking only validation. Then get angry when you don't like the answer or response. Some people have gotten pretty pissed when I was indifferent about their haircut or when I said I was a virgin. Also asking really loaded questions like you support candidate X? Why are you such a pose that you like this racist prick? Or why are your people so toxic and dumb? Okay, here we go. Being the only girl in a large group of dudes who play Halo, I have heard and seen it all. My favorite though, playing GTA when a boy looks at my hands. Hey, you pick at your fingers too. That's so cool. Social skills 100. I personally have been homeschooled up until high school so if the person is homeschooled then you can easily tell. I hope this helps. You maintain eye contact in an elevator or in the restroom while continuously humming the first few bars of It's a Small World. When your only friend is one who believes in Norse mythology of whom you met in church camp. Hey, 
that's more than zero social skills. Walked up to a group of people. Not one word came out. Turned around and went to my own corner to scroll through reddit. Being me. That person who doesn't understand personal space. Looking it up on wiki how. Ever held a conversation for more than 3 minutes and felt like you achieved something big. Being able to tell the difference between two rocks more effectively than my classmates. Someone asks you a simple question like do you like RHCP? And you dive into her is she asking me if I like the music or the band or one feature or an era? Do I have enough evidence to claim I like them? Do I really deserve to say I like them? What constitutes the concept of liking something? In that sense, can I truly say from the bottom of my heart that I like anything? And you miss your cue to answer so now you just look like a magic harp staring into the sun. A sign saying you have zero social skills. I asked out my crush on Valentine's Day. Thought it would be romantic. But um. She said she did not like anyone. Within half an hour she was dating some guy that asked her out because she looked pretty. This was after I asked her out. She later told me it was due to not being popular and standing out from most kids. Ro. You made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more It's free and that's a great price.